Firefighters, the Simulation. Published by United Independent Entertainment and developed by Viz Games, it's also available on PC and PS4. It's also a repackaging of a game from 2013, the thrillingly titled Chemical Spillage Simulator. Woo! To be honest, I was intrigued by Firefighters the Simulation, but since the price is rather steep if you're familiar with these types of games, and that it's available for much less on Steam, I decided to download the trial. As the title suggests, this game lets you play as an anonymous firefighter who's just joined a very Germanic fire service. After a brief tutorial, you get to play for real. You start off with just a basic fire van, but you'll eventually move up to larger pumps, turntable ladders and special vehicles. You also get a robot to pick up samples of spilt chemicals. Look out, so kill a lot. Of course, as a firefighter, you'll get called to various emergencies in your operational area. This sounds exciting at first, until you realise that most of the fires are confined to bins and can be extinguished rather quickly with just a few squeezes of the right trigger. As you progress, you find yourself going to larger emergencies, and credit where credit is due, your fellow firefighters will respond to these bigger jobs with you, which does sort of make you feel awesome driving to an emergency in a convoy. But once you get there, they just stand around and look bored. And the only big emergencies I got to with my limited time in the trial was a chemical drum that had leaked. Thrilling. When responding to an emergency, they give you a little arrow pointing you in the right direction and a dot on your minimap, but the smallness of most of the fires still makes them difficult to find. There's very little indication of what you're supposed to do when a new piece of equipment is introduced as well. Case in point, I spent ages trying to figure out how to use the computer to analyse a chemical sample when all I had to do was open a door on my van. And I found that mostly by luck. You also have to complete day-to-day -day tasks in between emergency calls. You can practice your firefighting and rescue skills in the training area. And... Make sure your fire engine is kept clean. Yeah. As you drive your vehicle around, particularly if you're like me and don't like sticking to the roads, it will get dirty. Props to the developers for including that detail. But this leads to a mundane minigame in which you have to wash the vehicle. And people complain that GTA 4's car washes were a waste of time. You will always have something to do, but it became repetitive even with the limited time I had with the game. And that's really the best way to describe the gameplay. Go here, do this, go back, go somewhere else, do the same thing, go back, rinse and repeat. It doesn't help that the controls are a bit shoddy. You'll find yourself getting stuck on staircases and walls half the time, and you walk so quickly it's hard to control. The vehicle controls aren't much better, very slidey, and it doesn't feel like there's much traction. It feels more like driving a bar of soap around. The presentation leaves a lot to be desired too. Textures are bland and not very interesting. The towns you drive around are lifeless and empty, and oh my good golly, the people are all badly animated, dead-eyed zombies. Aside from acting as waypoints in assigned tasks, there's little to no interaction with them. The fire effects are just badly superimposed textures, and the water is just a simple particle effect. And when it gets dark, it can be really hard to see what you're doing or where you need to go. There's very little in the way of physics or cosmetic damage, save for the muck you get on the vehicles. There's no burn marks where the fire's been, and I found a glitch where the lights on my van didn't flash, even though I had them turned on. I'll give it some credit, though. The fire engines are quite well made, though I suspect they may have been purchased assets. And unlike most games like this, where the vehicle is just stuck still and just the background moves, here the vehicles actually tilt as you go around corners. I mean, it still looks like it's stuck there, but a little bit of effort goes a long way, I suppose. And they've made some attempts at localization, with English text on the vehicles on the console versions, though from what I've seen of the PC version, they've just left the German text on. For your while. Also, when you finish a task involving other vehicles or firefighters, they literally just vanish leaving you to dredge back to the fire station on your own. But it's got bunnies! Aww. The sound isn't much better, 
like a lot of simulator games, there's a generic stock music track playing through the whole thing that doesn't match the tone or subject matter, and it's way too loud. The characters don't speak either, with their dialogue limited to just text boxes. The sound effects themselves are okay though. And that's about as far as I got before my trial expired. Which brings me nicely to the bottom line. This game is mediocre. It's not awful and there are far worse simulators out there. If you're not put off by the repetition and can look past the shortcomings in presentation, then you might want to try this out. But if you're looking to live out your dreams of being a firefighter, then there are better games to do it in than this one. So that's my thoughts on this game. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.